<laughs> so, I have a fun story about Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, I used to work at Dunkin' Donuts. So, one night, it was a very chaotic night, we had the oven going off, and then a customer comes up and says, uh, I need a uh, ice latte uh, with tater tots uh, and uh, bacon and cheese. Uh, this guy was really stoned, by the way. And uh, ice coffee large. Uh, and then come, someone comes up at the front desk and they say, I need, uh, yes, uh, sausage and cheese and 12 donuts. And then the oven in the back starts going off. So what do I do? Dilemmas in puppy brain. So I had about 14 cups of coffee at the time and 19 <laughs> shots of espresso. So I was really wired at the time. <laughs> Everyone else was going slumber. So I ran out back. I took care of the oven, opened up the oven, ran out to the front, took care of the dude's sandwiches and the coffee, and then took care of the guy at the front desk. All in the space of three minutes, so it felt like 17 hours later. <laughs> four hours later, my manager comes in, and then the phone rings. One of my coworkers, notorious for calling out, calls out, and she says, Oh, I can't come into work. Yeah, I'm gonna be late. I'm like, dear God, really? <laughs> really? The, the fuck are you here for? <laughs> Other than that, so my, my poor manager comes over to me and says, please, can you stay late again? I know it's been the 17th time this week, but uh, please. <laughs> I say, okay, we're gonna have a conversation later about giving me a raise, otherwise I'm leaving. Hey, lo and behold, she makes a few phone calls, and then I get a raise. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well done.